Central District's kicking to the northern end. One change for Central District's. Hearn's come out onto a half-back flank. And Pryor's gone to full-back. In the ruck, Micken with a tap against Bythine. Van Dommel missed it. Flatten over the top of it. It'll be a ball up. Very quick start. Both teams obviously anxious to get off to a very good start to the season. An early score would settle some nerves. Central District's with a lot of new players up in their forward line. Micken by theme, by theme won it. Free kick will go to McKinnon in the centre, so he's about to get his first kick in league football. And a 15 metre penalty against Connolly. Two new boys together. McKinnon with a long handball to Burgess. Burgess with a long one to Bennett. Bennett with a left footer. To the goal square. Luda's getting set. Missed by the second. And Winter's going to kick a goal. So West LA get the first. That's through Winter in the pocket. And so Roger Winters kicked West Adelaide's first goal after a minute. Discretion being the better part of valour there as far as Luders was concerned. Instead of going for that ball when he was blind, he just kept his eye on it, pulled out and just let the ball come to ground quietly and Winter backing him up, scored what was a simple goal. Magnificent handball there from half-back by Burgess. McKinnon. McKinnon to McKinnon. McKinnon to Dreyer. Dreyer with a left footer. Good mark by Winter. Winter will chip one to Luders. Luders last year kicked 75 goals for West Adelaide. He's kicked 272 in his career to date. 35 metres out. Drop punt. Goal to Luders. West Adelaide 3 2 to 2 1. They lead by seven points, and Roger Luders gets his first goal in 1983. Well, that leap of Lude is then from the front spot again. Bruce, he hasn't lost any of his leaping ability. He was running at, at quick pace then to receive that short kick. And he... Spoiled by Filkey. Grosser intercepts Will Rover with an opportunity. Goes for the goal. Should be a goal from there. It is a goal for West Adelaide. A beautiful bit of football. Roving by Leon Grosser as he posts West Adelaide's fourth. They gives it to Winter. Winter to Summerton. Summerton with a burst of pace down through centre wing to Borchardt. He's got a bad bounce. They're missing the body, but that's magnificent play. That's the stuff that makes footy teams function as it finds the body and Filky roars away to the forward pocket where Jeff Morris has given a lead and he takes a safe mark. 35 metres from goal. Fairly sharp angle, but he's not a bad kick. Filky's had seven kicks to date. Morris with a drop punt. That looks all right. To goal. What a great start by West Adelaide. Terry Moore it is with the ball. He's going to come wide. Dean Mobbs has given him a lead. But Bruce Linder, beautiful spring and mark. Linder's handball to Micken. Micken to Conlon. Conlon got rid of it in a hurry to Winter. Winter to McKinnon. McKinnon broke to the tackle of Platt and kicked Day behind. Looked like it was going through for a moment. McKinnon's got strength and he has got great speed, Robert. He has got incredible speed. I don't think I've seen a player come onto a league football ground with any more speed. It's Michael Graham's speed. It's the sort of speed you've, that Michael Graham's electrified us with. This young man has got equal to that, if not a bit better. Cantalaftis coming in, keeps the ball in play. Well done, John Cantalaftis. Avoids Terry Moore. Then kicks to centre wing. Mike Smith in front. Linda from behind. Nearly one-hands it. Then gets it away to Hearn. Hearn gets a hurried sort of a handball. Back to Smith. Smith on to Jeff Morris. He's on his wrong foot. He's centred it though into a space. Shane Hill can't get his eye on the ball. Watch out to Luders. And Luders with the easiest of goals. Well played, Weston. He goes for the handball. He doesn't find the body. Now go, 
a chance to score his first goal. The goal umpire does not move a muscle. And Peter Murat scores West Adelaide's 10th. And... Micken against Mobs. Micken with about a foot advantage. Bennett around his body. Murat will take the mark. That's his third mark this quarter to Borchar. Borchar quickly breaks Hearn's tackle and then a drop punt towards Linda. Hill going the wrong way and Linda takes the mark. Be a 15 metre. No, it's not. Won't make any difference because Linda could kick it from here easily. No problem at all with the distance. It's a prodigious kick. He's kicked 2 4 today. 45 metres out. Drop punt it'll be. It's a straight kick by the look of it. It's through, so Linden's got his third. West LA get the first goal after half time. As far as McKinnon, the centre. Craig couldn't keep his balance. One bounce, McKinnon, then he chips a little one. Luda's on a lead. And West LA are looking very, very good. McKinnon's shown enough today to indicate that he's going to be a very, very fine player. He hasn't done a lot. Peter Craig, with his experience, even though he also is a very young man, and McKinnon, I would think, would be older, in fact, than uh, than uh, Peter Craig, but his movement. And when West, he's, can get it, he's only got to have half a dozen kicks, and he's going to cause any side a lot of trouble because of his direct movement. Luders has goal. that six for Luders. Got 11 kicks and kicks 6 1. So, what a great start for 1983 for Luders. Here's a man who does. He took hold of it. That's McKinnon. He just handballed along the ground. He gets a free kick. Robin McKinnon, the front of the square, coming in from the side. Two Central Districts players. One was Jamie Thomas, but kicked off the ground. Finally, by Peter Murat. He scores a goal for West Adelaide. They're 15. Mark Micken. Against Peter Bythine. Ball nullified in the centre. Finally, it's McKinnon. His, his movement away from the centre is superb. He's attacking the full face of goal. Ball just running, and it's a goal. Proof conclusive for anyone who's got that sort of pace. Robin McKinnon breaking away from the centre then. Made no effort to kick the ball hard. In fact, he went for a short pass, and he just realises how much weight his kick will carry even over that 40 metre distance, just to let his leg go and hit the space and let it run through. Success in spoiling away as far as Filky. Falling on top of him is Krieg. He gets out to Burgess, Burgess to Luders, to McKinnon. He's got a chance now from set of half forward. He's gonna to drill it. it. Missed it. No. no, got it. The way to kick it. He didn't try and kick it so hard that time. Just kicked it quietly, punched the goal. He goes across to full forward with a well-placed kick. Connolly can't take the mark, and it's intercepted once again by some and what a wonderful game he's played. Rosser, Winter, Cantor Lathis, and little fella Connolly. An opportunity now to run up the ground. They're all after him, but no one's going to make any impression on his kicks of beauty. Roger Luders. And then Wobbles won about 30 metres straight to Conlon. Conlon going for length. Winter from, not Winter, Linda. Seem to get Winter and Linda when the words come out, but it's certainly Bruce Linder. He's a wonderful leaper, particularly with an opportunity to run in a pack like that. Very fine take though, wobbly kick, not carrying that well through the air. Bruce Linder, 10 metres out, kicks the goal. Westy's 20th, 20 goals. 20. Bythin will run up against Williams. Williams again wins it. McKinnon's having a big last quarter. <laughs> Should have got a free kick, and he does. <laughs> what I like, he tried to kick the ball when he was horizontal to the ground. I don't know what he... <laughs> he could play on now, one bounce. Cassidy takes off after him. He's a lovely kick, and so he bangs that towards full forward. Linda, Morris, another one. That's his second. And, Robert, this is a devastating performance by West Adelaide. They're hammering Central Districts. Roger Winter. Handball to Grosser. Grosser at centre wing. He's going to chip it across to centre half forward to Morris. And West Adelaide is doing it very easily indeed as we're getting towards the end of what's been a disappointing performance for Central Districts. Morris has kicked two goals, one. He's usually a good kick too, Robert. He's a long way out, I know, but that's a magnificent kick off the boot. And a great mark by Craig Williams. <laughs> there was a West... 
A West Adelaide player jumped about five minutes before acceptances. Then I missed out who he was. I was looking at him, but then Williams, coming from the other side, timed the leap to perfection. Probably Roger Luders, because he's the only one who could jump that high. Except for Bruce Linder, and it wasn't him. So Craig Williams has kicked the goal. 23-22 to 8-9. I think he likes kicking goals too. <laughs> Never seen anybody so happy after a goal. Remember last year, Bruce, when Neil Curley played in fullback that day on Rick Davies. We went, everyone went along, including us, thinking Rick will take a few marks. Hardly a one. Craig Williams from the front spot. He jumped, he marked, he did everything right. Played a magnificent game. Straight down the centre of the ground. Micken in front position. Spoiled away by Kernahan. Craig Williams. Conlon. Conlon long to half forward. Winter in front of Farquhar. And he marks the ball. Positions himself very well. He's also got a very good leap. He goes straight to the goal square. Luders is dropping back on Walsh and takes the mark. Well done, Roger Luders. Kept his eye on the ball. Walsh coming into him. Took a very firm grip of that. Only got about five metres to cover to score the goal at a 45 degree angle. He scored full points. Mickham with a tap to Conlon. Left foot. It's covered a bit of distance. Luders in the front spot. Walsh at the back. Linda should kick a goal. Drop punt. Straight through it goes. West Adelaide reply within 30 seconds. Linda gets his first. Bernie Conlon was very calm out of the centre then. He had a Glenelg player breathing right down his neck. But he was able to quickly take control of the situation. He got a very good left foot kick forward. Luders and Walsh had a good contest, but Bruce Lindner, by gee, he's an impressive player for West Adelaide. He loves playing in that centre-half forward position. Reminds me somewhat of Daryl Baldock being able to turn both sides of his body and his ability to compete for the ball. Fantastic. A man for man at the moment up in the forward line. He goes long. Carey from the back. He's pushed in the back. Umpire doesn't see Williams do it. Williams knocks it away quickly to Winter. Winter to Bennett. Bennett to Burgess. And Westies are away to the centre wing where Peter Murat has made a very good lead. You're in the team from the start today. Dummies around his opponent, Duthie, and kicks to half forward. It's a long kick to Grosser. Grosser's run back with magnificent balance. He's run his full 15 metres and a magnificently placed kick to Bruce Linder. And I think that's indication of how much confidence West Adelaide have in each other at the moment. Perhaps in other days, we would have seen Grosser attacking the goal. But on this occasion, full of confidence for his teammate. Linder dropping back into the space. Grosser popping the ball over to him and Linda from 20 metres to kick West Adelaide's third goal. Micken got his hands on it. Kernahan and Micken after it. Roger Winter threw it away to Bennett. Things are running now for West. Bennett through centre half forward with a long one. Will it bounce through? I think it will. It did. So West Adelaide have kicked three goals within a minute. And Winter put a tackle on him. Conlon looks for a free kick. Duthie held up his hand, but it wasn't good. Left foot by Conlon. Over the top of the full forward. Missed by Lahu and Grosser's kicked another one. Oh, this is champagne football. Off the ground for a goal. And West Adelaide clear through Summit and Burgess. And they come down the grandstand wing to Conlon. Conlon's tackled while it's not in possession. And will get a free kick. Played a terrific game for West Adelaide in this first quarter and a half. Bad handle though. Says Grosser backing up quickly. He gives it to Roger Winter. Roger Winter the centre half forward. Off hands from Mayne. Smith with a full face of goal. He usually loves these. And he scored. Michael Smith brought on at quarter time to replace Jeff Morris. Scores West Adelaide's 11th goal. Conlon played a splendid game. One bounce. Then a drop punt. He punches at the centre half forward. Linda running back. Oh, what a mark. Super mark, Robert, that one. Beautiful take. The ball floating through the air. It almost looked as though. Michael Farquhar had his hand across to spoil the ball, but Linda just hung in the air, and then it just floated into his hands and caressed it down. Beautifully done. 70 metres from goal. The kick hit his foot very heavily, but strongly, and it's a goal. Bernahan and Williams. Williams this time, and he takes them up. He might be the best bet back there on Kernahan. I can remember the day that he stitched up Rick Davies, kicked the Conlon. Off he goes, the little fellow. Long handball to Winter. Roger Winter with a small one to Borchard. Now, Borchard's got Murette running. Now, play the one-two. Now, will it sit? It does. 
Borchardt ran himself into the pocket that comes back towards Smith and he takes the mark. Peter Maynard getting a little bit loose again then, Bruce. He was the one man who didn't follow up very closely across to that half-forward line. They're going to play man on man. That was good advantage play, though. Beautifully positioned there for Mike Smith. Now it'll be Smith from 30 metres for West Adelaide's 14th. And the 14th it is. Lovely kick there by Michael Smith. It's his third goal this quarter. Neil Curley must be very, very happy with the move he made at quarter time. Jeff Morris looked to be out of touch. He brought Mike Smith onto the ground. And Smith has been a big winner because he's kicked three goals in this term. The pace from one end to the other has been fantastic in this quarter. Dreyer running through the centre-half back position towards Grosser. Grosser the centre-half forward with a missed kick screw punt. Linda in front, plucks the ball out of the air and bolts a beautiful ward. That's the way to do it, into his chest, not into his face. Laid back by Roger Winter to Smith. Smith evades, gives it to Grosser and his Westies 15th coming up. Leon Grosser, full points. Bernie Conlon, Roger Winter. Looks as though Peter Maynard may be in the back pocket. Winter very high to centre half forward. Linda in the front. He's not frightened to get in front. Borchardt waited patiently. He hasn't taken his nose off the ball at any stage in that movement. Mike Smith just brushed John McFarlane aside and said, Thanks very much. I'll have another six pennant. Thank you. And that's what it is. Over the top is Murette. Then he misses Bennett with the handball to Filky. Wingman to Wingman. And Filky looks towards Borchardt. Now he can go to Grosser quickly. He will. And Grosser should kick a goal on the run. Bang. Goal. Grosser's got his second. Is it? Yes, no. Third to Grosser. McGuinness has won. And plays it to Burgess. Burgess to Grosser. West LA Rovers have won the day. Williams to Filky. Filky's got a paddock. He looks for Linda. McFarlane spoils. Looters. Quickly back to Murat. Murat went in the handball, then held up the kick, and he'll find Filky. And Filky's got the mark within kicking distance. Murat's been very constructive. Only a, a few touches, but he's made almost 100% use of the kicks that he's had. Now, Filky's about to have his 12th kick. Good comeback, because Simons really gave him the stick in that first quarter. 40 metres out, an important kick. Drop punt. Looks to be straight, it is. Maynard, or not Maynard, McDermott, Hamilton took it off him. It wouldn't quite sit for Murat. Bennett, a little one there. Will it sit for Winter? Winter's going to go over the top to Smith. This is a chance now. He's usually deadly. He'll give it to Luders. Goal. Luders has got two. Put it down to Luders, but all Smith made it. Must steady here, West Adelaide. They've been in control for 80% of the game. To set a half forward. Lindner with a spectacular mark. Look, he's got it now. That's his man. Left Filky loose. This is the looseness I was talking about. And now Filky's got the whole ground unopposed. And this is where West Adelaide are keeping in the game all the time. Taking advantage of this to Borchardt. Borchardt to Murat. Murat bolts. Walsh can't stop him. Luders. So if Simons is going to run across the front of those packs, he's certainly got to deal with a lot more discretion than he did then. He ran himself right out of the play into the boundary line. And then West Adelaide bred off hands. And here they are having a shot for goal. Rady coming off. Lunners coming on. It's a long kick. And guess who? He's there again. Bruce Linder. He loves flying for him. And he's certainly flying with a lot more discretion and control than we've seen in former years. He's always loved to fly. Ten marks to Linder. Three goals to Linder. Three goals and one makes four. So Linda's got four. Missed by Morris and Kernahan. Then Hamilton to Morris in the centre. Morris was going to go to handball to Filky. Decided against it. Luders in the front spot. Also jumping Linda. Luders Chance for just... Bennett. Here's a goal to Luders. Runs in and puts it through. So Luders has got four. Smith from the back can't take the mark. Well, who can't take the ball off hands? Overhead to Luders. Luders with a magnificent. Good reaction by Luders. There's the full forward, probably a bit inclined to have a shot. The little reflexive give 
And the Westies, they continue to fight. To Roger Winter, who's played a splendid game. Lindner, he's an exciting player. Lace out to Lucas. Oh, that is magnificent. G oh. can play, Lindner. High drop punt. Luders will come from the back. Punched away by Frost. It's going to be paid to Luders. Luders got first grab, then Frost went for the punch. Luders taking it on the way down. It's an important kick for Roger Luders. It's a good one to put yourself under a bit of pressure with. A bit of grand final kicking. If he kicks it, they'll win, Robert. It'll be too big a lead. It's a lovely kick, just fading in. He fades it in from left to right. Five goals to Luders. Filky, Simon's on the attack side again. And Bruce Linder is going to duck, weave and run. And he puts his foot right into the ball. Luders clapping wildly. Now the crowd join in when they all realise she's gone straight through the centre. And that's five big ones to Bruce Linder. This is a, not a good kick, but Conlon with an opportunity. Miss kicks the ball completely. Luders can't control it. He's First goal to Grosser. Linda put Till out of business with a very good hip and shoulder. Completely fair. Luders on a lead. Now Luders with a chance. Drop punt has gone through. What a goal. Luders has got his first. Mark Micken for West Adelaide. Ball fa favouring Micken slightly this time. Turbo blocked by Borchardt and recovered by Borchardt. Into half forward. Linda in front. What a great player he is. Lindner has kicked 14 goals, 16 so far this year, so he's had 30 shots for goal in four matches. That's a strong leg, it's gone through. Chancing his eye a little bit there on the bounce as he ran into the centre of the ground. Smith just settling himself at centre half forward. The kick's in the square. Sport away by Adler. Well done, Winter. Not Winter, Lindner. Run on the ground, and it's a goal. Morris back on the ground, of course. Luders on a lead. Two Norwood players, including Turbill in the front spot, fly for it. Schmal, strong work by Lindner though. Smith, Conlon, his goal. Well done, Bruce Lindner. Conlon's got his first goal. He's got one goal, two little Conlon. Yes, that handball by Mike Smith, very quick. New Conlon was there waiting. Mike Smith with an opportunity. She's opened up the goal front beautifully. Handball to Luders. Goal. 2-1 to Luders. I wonder if he's injured, Robert. The kick by Grosser towards centre half forward. That's a fine mark by Roger Winter. Winter too far out to score. Has Luders on a lead. Well plays kick and a strong mark by Roger Luders. Tom Warhurst going back to the half back line. Jim Michael Annie going to centre half forward. Roger Luders. So far today, 2 1. He's kicked 291 goals in his career to date. 84 games. It's a very good strike rate. Drop punt. Looks very good off the boot. That's a great goal by Luders. Into the breeze. That's his third. Bruce Winter and Craig Williams. Craig Williams. Luders. Is this his fifth? It is. He's kicked five, Luders. Hamilton. Very good disposal. Linda. What beautiful power on the turn. Magnificent kick. Luders marks the ball 20 metres from goal. Oh, Bruce Linda. That's fantastic. Prop. Had a player going to tackle him and then powered out of the, the uh, area and then placed the kick much better than those wild ones we saw him kick earlier. And Roger Luders to put the Wolves two goals in front. He's done it. Murat to centre half for De Borchard. He takes the mark and plays on quickly. Looking for Luders on a lead. Two Nord players back there. Luders five, unfortunately, but Roger Winter can kick the goal and he's got it. Loves a three in front. Winter's got his first. Conlon intercepts Gallagher. He's tackled. He's down. <laughs> Knocks it out to McKinnon. McKinnon's got pace. Gives it to Watson. His first kick. Goes short into the pocket to Muret. And Muret's in goal kicking distance. It's Burgess with a long handball to Watson. Timmy's brother from the centre to Linda. Punches it, but straight to Winter. Borchie Borchardt's playing a turn to Linda. Now, can he finish it off? Drop yes. punt. It's going to go through. What a goal to Linda. Conlon. Short. Muret. West Adelaide running. Short again to Linda. Now, he should have a shot. 
Well, he's kick. good enough. Muret stopped him. He said, go back and have a kick. 11th kick. He's kicked three. Drop punt. Is a strong kick by Linda. It has got the direction. What a goal. And Craig Williams to relieve for West Adelaide. West Adelaide leading by seven points to centre wing. Spoiled away by Nord to Hamilton. Hamilton to Smith. A magnificent give. What a great game Hamilton's played. Luders. An exciting mark. Neagle had Gallagher running. He decided to blaze away off Summerton. What an effort. What a magnificent effort by Summerton. In the centre, Lindner, Morris. Surprise inclusion in West Adelaide side today towards full forward. Luders back to Morris. Can he kick a goal? I think he has. Jeffrey Morris, what a start for him. Micken, Kennedy's tackle. Watson, short. Linda's got it. Can give Russell Evans some problems. Quickly handballs to Smith, and here's a goal. Smith's got his first. Well done, Bruce Linda. Giles fell over. Smith summoned and paved the way for Grosser. Now the Rover should go. Tries a check side and he puts it straight through. In the front position there, Bruce. I misread that Kennedy, completely. Uh, Kennedy it was. Handball to Hardy. Yeah, Anderson. Anderson's tackle. Ball falls from his arms. Play allowed to play on. Recovered by McKinnon at centre wing. Now McKinnon into attack for West Adelaide. Ebert with one hand. Linda behind. Gives it to Smith. Smith gives the handball, which is a bad one to Morris. Morris with the back screwy on the left foot. Beautifully controlled Jeffrey Morris. Craig Williams from fullback. Anthony Williams, Stephen Williams, and Craig Williams. We've had some William, Michael Williams in the reserves in Port Adelaide. Richard Hamilton now receiving it. Mark Beach, Bernie Conlon. Eckerman guarding the mark carefully. Conlon certainly moving up the ground. He's getting into that half foot, right into that half forward line. He's kicked strong. Linda. Summerton, he's done a good job on Clifford. Borchard, Grosser, now he should kick his second. High drop punt, it is going to go through, and West Adelaide have got a run on. Micken and Ben Harris, no, Baker, sorry. Well, Micken just thumps the ball forward. Conlon took it off, Harvey. Luders and Hughes. Now Smith will kick a goal. Oh, he took too long, but he got it. It's through. That's two to Smith. He's not allowed to play on, of course, Bruce, on that occasion, because it was a mark. Handballs it across quickly to Watson. They haven't gained much just at this stage, but they have now. Roger Winter. Straight to the square. Hughes on his own, coming in Smith. Oh, and Gross has kicked it. Well done, Leon Grosser. Red off hands, in fact, very well done by Michael Smith. Giles. We fumbled it. And oh, oh, oh. him too, and he's holding the ball. That's a fantastic tackle. He propped on Giles then, and when Giles went to move, he just picked the right moment to nab him. Little kick by Micken. Hamilton, he's won the centre. Summerton. Watson. West LA playing with great confidence. Linder on a lead. Oh, no. What a judgment, though, Bruce. He let even hit him then, and he was still strong enough to hold balance in the air. Burton waited for it. Now, Morris is a man without the boot. Bennett towards the pocket. Grosser did very well, and he's taken a great mark against Eckerman. He's a leading goal kicker in the reserves to date. Drop punt is not accurate, but Lewis has taken a sensational mark. Summerton sort of paved the way to Micken. Micken to Grosser. Grosser's probably the best little man on the ground. Bit long there with a the handball, but he got it to Morris, and Morris will chip it to Borchardt. Borchardt marks the ball. Wide in the pockets outside his distance. He tries to play on to Morris. Well, does he try to? He does. Paul Morris got to do his kick it straight, and he has. West Adelaide score. Well done, West Adelaide. Spoiled away. Cantor left us. Beach. Micken working hard. Puts his hand up and controls it. Well done, big fellow. And a long, strong handball to the captain, Borcher. He doesn't take the ball. He gives the handball back to Micken. Micken to half forward. Morris, who's been up there waiting for some time. After that bit of bad play by the West Adelaide skipper, Larry Watson now to receive. Watson goes straight at the goal front. Luders in front. It's a goal. McKinnon gets the ball. Micken, what a great job he's done, the big fellow. Goes into half forward. Linda early. Long hair ball by Murat. All Connor's got to do is take it. It's a goal. 
Well played, West Adelaide. Bit of accuracy then, a bit of quick giving. Murat gets his hands on the ball. He can certainly do things to Morris. Morris, a strong kick off one leg. Luda's taking off now. Gross has got the chance. Couldn't get it up. Finally got it to Folding, and Folding's kicked the goal. Hit the goal umpire, but it'll be a goal. You watch this. Three to Folding. Back to Linda. Linda's kicked towards the centre. Conlon in the front spot. He marked the ball, Bruce. It was a fantastic mark. Anthony Williams sets himself. Oh, that's a magnificent mark by Peter Winter. Morris. Still Morris. Conlon gets it to Grosser. Grosser to Smith. Smith covering some territory. Drop puck. Goal. What a kick. Mark Mickett into full forward. Spoiled away by Sturt. Coming around the front, Roger Winter. He's very good up in the forward line. In fact, he's extremely good on this occasion. Beautifully done, Roger Winter. Filky, back penalty. It's caught, holding the ball. McKinnon on the half volley. Zubernik holding the ball. He comes Grosser now to Mickett. West LA into attack. Well done, big fellow. Watson. Morris. Well played, West Adelaide. It's the teamwork we've seen from them this year. The pressure's come on them. They've settled themselves. Mark Mickens showing a bit of calmness. Getting the ball forward. Watson to Morris. And this is the goal that'll just settle them a little bit if he can score it. Oh, beautiful kick, Jeffrey Morris. Mickens and Spiel. 58 to 38. Spill won it, Conlon read it well. Wilson's after him. Conlon's got Grosser. He chips it across to him. Grosser to Murad on a lead and chipping in. Roger Winter takes the mark. And Linda gives him a lead. He takes the mark. It's a powerful lead too. Drop punt. Straight through. That'll give him some confidence. That's 1-1 one -one to Bruce Linda. Peter Winter. Micken gives him a lead. Spiel at the back. Micken takes the mark. I think Frank Spiel gets a little bit tired. They've got Sims on the, the bench and Spiel from behind. I think now's the time to make a change if they're going to, Bruce. Micken to Morris. Tap forward by McKinnon. Roger Winter. Larry Watson. Short to the pocket. Lindner. Reed. Still Lindner. Still Lindner. Snapshot. He's going to go through. What a goal. Mr. Excitement, I'm going to call him from now on, Robert. Oh, he's just ordinary old Bruce Linder. What a beautiful play. His individual efforts are terrific. His ability to prop, stop, jump, anything that requires a power movement, Bruce Linder's got it. Handball not so good. There's two handballs by Sturton's succession that missed the body. It's going to give Randall Bennett an opportunity now to rebound. His kick's not good, but a beautiful tap on by Grosser to Summerton. Summerton's got Watson on his own. Greg Riddles are getting caught into the half forward line. Watson back to receive for West Adelaide. Watson with his unnatural foot towards Linda. Spoiled away by Pake. Fry can't take it. He just fumbles it. Luders gives it to Smith. Smith plays to the last second and just chips it across, but Howard's on top of him. And Bernie Conlon in the goal square. Linda gives him the lead. Not quite. Then fell over. Muret. Then Shepherds for Smith. Now Smith's a good kick for goal normally. That's going to go very close. Luders juggles it, gives it to Conlon. Conlon kicks the goal. Tuck down. Lovely tackle. That's Roger Winter. Muret. Folding, dodging shadows. They're getting pretty long at the moment too as the sun settles in the west and high in the air. Roger Luders. Luders on quickly. Fry getting back again as he did a moment ago. And Jeff Morris coming in for an easy one. Kinnan, Smith, one bounce, two, keeps running away from the goal though. Pake's done it beautifully though, he popped on his movement. Now Micken, Hutton's got him, Morris, Luders, Bennett, series of handballs, then chips it, hoping it'll sit for Borchar. Will it? It does. He snaps and just misses the captain. So West LA worked really hard for that. Quickly pick up. Gained a bit of confidence. Beautiful tackle. Ball flies out to Bennett. Umpire allowing the game to go on. That's a better kick forward by Grosser. Eddie Fry chipping in. 
Mike Smith, he left Mike Smith to try to contest that mark. And Smith taking advantage of the offhands. It's pulled away by Morris. Just hit on towards Smith. Smith comes back in towards the centre of the ground. Luda's coming across. Takes a very well-judged mark. It's a very hard ball to mark with it zipping at him like that. So Roger Luda's going for his third. West Adelaide 16th. They've had, this will be their 30th shot for goal. They're not a long way behind Sturt. They've just lacked a little bit of height and defence. Roger Luders floats the ball in, didn't kick it all that well. Craig from behind, McKinnon from the front. Well done, Robin McKinnon. Bruce Lindman. That's the sort of play you don't need. Should have taken possession, I think, and then given the handball. Probably didn't feel where he was. So it's Lindner. Gives it across now to Micken. Micken into Smith. Smith with an opportunity to run straight at the goal. It's a goal. Beautifully done. John Allen will clear. He hooks it back, but only to find Borchardt, who drops it. Recovers pretty well, though. Here's a chance, Filkey. Can the Bloods get there first? I think they can. Filkey was one for a to go. Back to the centre. Micken goes high, but he's beaten by Hawkins. Borchardt through. Morris, good mark. Plays it on. West Adelaide mean business now. Luders on a lead. It won't get that far, though. Palmer fumbles. Down he goes. Smith, puts one forward, great reply West Adelaide, they've got two in two minutes. Micken can't, Filky around Schulz, into the pocket on the lead is the president now, he's got it. Martin up, oh, got a good leap, couldn't hold it though, Morris got the handball out to McKinnon, well the handball back wasn't good, McKinnon fires it forward, that was a good pass to Bennett. On it goes to Morris. Smith wants it. Morris avoids him. That's the second time he's skewed off the, the boot like that. Lewis ran it well and takes a good mark. Plus 15 for pushing the back from Brooksby. Luders a goal. His second. And it's out of play on the other side. No, it's not. Borchard kept it in. The short pass is away. Grosser out wider still was McKinnon, but Grosser played on quickly to the half forward line and well taken by Mike Smith. 40 metres out in front. The South defence under extreme pressure at the moment. Into what breeze there is, or the kick is not a good looking kick, but he's majored it. Hawkins having a, a spell in the forward pocket, comes in with Williams, he tries to hook it clear. McKinnon, Bennett smothered that handball. Picked up well, however, by Filkey. Borchard a chance now. Beats as they go into attack, gives the running Grosser a chance. Over the half forward line, go West Adelaide. Grosser straightens up, goes for home. Not to be a beauty. Brooksby right on the line, but he couldn't get there. Magnificent play, West Adelaide. Going to be offline this kick. Hawkins is going to be a leaper, but he's right underneath the ball. Linder at the back of the pack has got the mark. The appear to want it. Into attack again go the Bloods. Morris. Grosser. Here's a chance. Grosser lines it up. He can't miss from there. Well, they started the third quarter well. Grosser got his second. West Adelaide through winter, a long one in towards full forward, Luders a leaper, can't quite get it, Grosser again, dispossessed, Corns back there but it goes straight to Linda, Grubbers one through and it gets the goal! Corns can't believe it, kicked it straight to his opposition, Linda said thank you and wobbled one through. Through comes Linda. Come on, Phil! Scoops it forward. West Adelaide a chance, Luders a five mark from a beautiful ball to him by Filkey. Dummied round onto the left leg. That was his 12th kick. I think he had about eight or nine in the first quarter. Grosser to the lead of Lender up high over the top. Smith should give away the handball. No, the handball wasn't up there. Shoots the goal and puts it. He thought about Conlon two or three times. He thought the handball would go over, but finally when that was covered by Ivanov, he boots his third goal. One-sided slog at the moment. Micken thumps the ball out towards Bennett, claimed by Martin, Borchard to McKinnon. The Bloods into attack again on the lead is Slender. Good pass, beautifully dispatched by McKinnon. My word, he's a good footballer. Is pointing, uh, Micken's having a few rock cards and words. Big mark by Linda. Williams. Oh, 
did it well Williams held on to the ball then puts it up to Morris Corns won't get there Linda's on his own but Morris is caught didn't know which way to go then he picks Linda out that's well done the angles fairly acute but he's very close in shouldn't miss this one shades the post with it Borchardt indicate that he wants to go long Luda's on the lead it's not going to get there Linda fine mark Beach has played pretty well too in that back line he took it back from McKinnon then goes to center wing Smith in front not Smith it's Roger Winter he puts out a long hand ball to McKinnon puts him in a spot of bother but uh, there are West Adelaide players running together you don't often see that the bounce down a chance he runs in and oh, hits the post <laughs> did he run up and hit the post again with his hand oh, well, he blamed he, the post <laughs> shouldn't have been there he said yeah right oh, well we've got the post in the wrong place at richmond perhaps bernie Collin might come out during the week and change that robson takes off kicks long not long enough micken in the center of the ground puts the handball over borchardt watson and hamilton Hamilton's kick is terrible, but it found Williams. Well, Williams goes sideways to, to Watson. West Adelaide, a lot of possessions. Linda! I wonder if there has been a move made there. I wonder where that is. He looks like he's standing Linda. He might be. Linda takes off. Goes goalward behind Smith. Kick. Goal. Comes across to the half-back line. Dreyer, Dreyer towards the half-forward flank. Getting up high, Linda can't complete it. Shepherd there by Smith. Linda's got all the time in the world. Chips out a pass. Hamilton. Smith will provide the run. Luda's just in the pocket. He's got it. Or oh, got the sitter. Got to get round the opposition. Back now quickly. Hamilton. Point blank range. Goal. McKinnon. Wide to Filky. Oh, Filky took his eyes off it for the for an instant. Back to Borchardt it goes. Borchardt will go long. Luders, Williams. Tackles on, the ball comes out. Bennett again, he won't miss this one. Here's the left foot on that occasion. Bennett got his first. Hodgson's another one of the blondies. Quickly McKinnon, rubbers one to the half forward line. A good sit for Borchardt, he's only got to get round one player. On the lead is Luders. Beautifully done, Ian Borchardt. Mark Micken, number 16 for the Bloods. Dirk Inglis for the Eagles. Micken got it down. Winter. Well, kicks around the body. He's going to get a free kick up field. Sims has got hands on hips and wondering what it is all about. Linda Short. Bennett. Bennett will play it on. Could have given it back to Smith, but said, I can do this. It's easy. Two goals, Bennett. Into the pocket they go. Johnson on the lead. Well distributed, but beautifully stuffed away there by Tony Burgess. Played it on immediately. Filky's going wide to McKinnon. Smith short. Not much offering at the moment, though, for Smith. He's probably going to have to keep going on that outer flank. Or oh, don't know about the kick, guess. In fact, it was spot on in the final analysis. He wants Buckley. Gives him a chance, but uh, Borchard it is intercepting. Gee, played that well. Back to Smith. Well picked up. Smith strikes a tackle onto the left boot. Looters. Well, well done, Smith. What is the King thinking? Would not be nice thoughts. Conlon back in the game. Jeffrey Morris having a spell. I assume that will mean that Randall Bennett will go back to centre wing as the Bloods go into attack again up towards the half forward line. Coming across to meet it. Enright. Dispossessed Luders did that one well. Puts it into the pocket. Smith. So easy. Down he goes. Burgess has got it now. The handball comes out. Summerton. Over to Filkey. The Bloods are running. Winter wanted it. Back it goes. Watson's running. Gee, they've got running players everywhere, West Adelaide. Williams and Inglis. Neither got their hand to the ball. Inglis came out with it. Taps it clear towards Hamilton. Taken off him by Winter. Bennett towards the half-forward line. Players having trouble with his son. Not Borchard. Quickly sorts out Luders. Can't bring it down, however. Watson in defence. Summerton for West Adelaide cool but he's smothered off the boot it's all West Adelaide Hamilton to McKinnon he's got Collier to get around uses Borchard Randall Bennett center wing back to Smith good sit on the ball over the half forward line go West Adelaide on the leaders looters 
Troubled with the sun, but took a fine mark. Back to Borchard. Centres it about 30 metres out. And the West Adelaide skipper is going back to have a shot. No, he's not. Conlon. Gee, a little bit dangerous, that one. But Robson would not go back that half centimetre. And the second time round, it's OK. Plays it on. Summerton. Winter. To the centre of the ground. There's Lindner. Collier spoiled him. Smith. Casual as you like. Back to Bennett. Bennett finesses. Then puts it wide to Filpy. I think Filpy will stop. No, off he goes. Short Hamilton. Well positioned. Hamilton will kick a goal if he's good enough. He swings around. The ball on the way. Great kick for goal, Hamilton. Gee. They did everything but kick it. Morell in front of Watson. Watson's recovery was good then. Away goes. Short. Here's a chance. Smith. Well done, Larry Watson. Dylan. Carter on a long lead. If he keeps coming, he'll mark it. Put a fine interception by Peter Winter. Good interception by Kazali. Murat is caught. That's clever play by Peter Murat. Clever he certainly is. Conlon. Roger Winter. Let's see what uh, Luders can do this time. Great mark, Luders. He must have been a bit up said about what he did last time to produce a mark like that. Oh, classic catch. Well, that's the ability to Roger Luders, and he's worth his place in the side, I reckon, Peter, just to let us see those spectacular marks. That's what brings crowds to the football, and uh, Roger Luders, there's none better at those spectacular ones, but I bet West Adelaide just wished he hung on to a few more. That's his third goal. Codlin. Yeah, West Adelaide haven't done it well since half-time. Pretty strong Burgess now uh, is a long way from his former position. Out it goes to Williams. Faints the handball. Bennett didn't really need that. Williams backs it up well. Gives Luders a chance. Up he goes from behind. A movement from Summerton. He's a half back, but he wants a goal. Williams up. Or oh, grabs his own knock, or he didn't get the knock away. Luders into the open goal. Goal number five. And what a great personal effort there from Williams and uh, Roger Luders giving him the credit he deserves. Back in defence, Collier gets lumbered. Quickly out now towards Filkey. Filkey in the pocket. Winter again, hooks around the corner, and that's a fine snapshot for Winter's second goal. Coming home a little bit better now. Mick into Hamilton. Out wider still. Borchard, a long kick. Luders is going to get a start out at one grab. Can't complete it. He comes out with a ball. Hooks around the corner. This could even bounce through, but Linda takes it into the open goal. Micken on his lonesome thumps the ball towards the half forward line. Dylan got a bad bounce. Murat comes out with it. Going through strongly. Summerton has a shot for goal on the run. And I think that's a magnificent goal. Summerton's second goal, not bad for a half-back flanker. Murat, cleverly over to Conlon. Forward go the Bloods. Another long shot at the goal, getting back on a Williams. I don't know whether it's touched or not. Goal. At the bounce, Borchard thumps it in towards the goal. Coming to meet it, however, McKinnon. He's only got to pick it up to have a chance. Slips it back, Murat, point blank range. Roberts high round his body. It's going to be a tough one. And Winter did it very, very well. He certainly did. Michael Annie pushes Conlon in the back. Umpire doesn't give a decision, but well done, Conlon, for recovering and keeping his nose on the ball. Coming in from behind was Thomas. Rosser flies to ask the pack. Scan leaves it behind. And Mike Smith says, thank you very much. Micken. McKinnon. Conlon. Conlon to the goal square. Scanlon and Smith. Good mark. Smith's in a bit of form, Robert. He certainly is. Peter Winter. Who takes the mark and then plays on. Well done. Kicks it straight to half forward. Smart on the front. And Conlon from the rear. I think he might have been penalised if he'd have missed it. What a great grab that was by the little fellow. Button and Micken. Micken thumps it towards the boundary line. Roberts. Summerton. Summerton's got him. It's got to be holding the ball. Well played by Warhurst. Schmal. Gee, that wasn't all that good by Ash. Schmal had nowhere to go. Now Grosser to Filkey. 
Filky on the run. That's a goal. Schmalf fights the, the handball, then kicks the centre half forward. Button in front, Neagle in front of him, can't get it. Borchardt's recovered from West Adelaide to Cantilaftus. To Hamilton. Hamilton very high into the full forward area. Warhurst coming from the back. Spoils away from Hellier. Conlon picks it up, runs into the open goal and punches it home for the Westie boys. They both had each other in an arm wrestle. Yeah, except that Greg was trying to run with the ball. All of a sudden, he couldn't. So here comes Subbot was the one who couldn't go. Conlon to Bennett. Bennett with a long one. That's going to go through, I reckon. It's a goal unless Winters marked it inside. Either way, it's going to be a goal. Bit of an anti-climax. So Winter from the goal square. Wester about to hit the front. He's got it. Micken in the centre against Button. Micken easily. Too far for McIntosh. Bennett. Winter and Renfrey and Lindner. Lindner's got it. He was almost going to play on. He gets a bit excited, doesn't he? He just can't control himself. He sort of gets the adrenaline running and he tends to go crazy. But he's settled himself now. Oh, lovely kick, Bruce. Lined it up. Punched it through the centre. Button. Micken. Button to half foot. Dreyer hold. Dreyer, should I say. Holding ground with his left foot this time. Borchart plays on quickly. Straightens it to goal. G did it well. He didn't hesitate at all by reflex then, but the captain. Plays short to Watson. Aish won't get to him. Watson quickly plays on to Dreyer. Dreyer through the centre with a long one. G's a good kick. Murat's got it. Provides a bit of rebound to you, doesn't he, Robert? That was a very strong leg. He's, he's almost a natural left footer, Bruce. Yeah, it's, he's, well, he's like Bucky Cunningham, except he kicks a bit longer with both. Oh, he's a beautiful kick on the left foot. He just keeps running on that line. If he's on his side, on his left side, he just goes straight into the leg. So Murat with an important one, and he hasn't let them down. Wester kicking very straight in this quarter. A lovely mark. Play on, he saw him play on. He's quite right. Dean Reverie still nowhere near the play. Very bad play by Renfrey. If he run across the hill, Schmarl had got out of that, and Conlon's picked it up and punched it back through the goal. Third goal to Bernie Conlon. Bennett goes to centre half forward, and Borchardt's dropped into there, but he can't get the ball to come to him. Conlon now West Adelaide with an opportunity in the space there, and Ludus is into it, and he's taken a very good mark at pace. Judged his run beautifully, Roger Ludus. They're leading 2-2 to a point. Grosser in the centre. Bennett quickly to Dreyer. Watson provides the run. Luders on a lead. Thrown away by Hamilton with one hand. Certainly working hard in these early minutes. And he gets it to Conlon. Conlon running through centre wing. Over half forward. Very high in the air. A very nice mark. Well judged there by Roger Winter. Picked up there, run away by Fuller. Craig Williams, with aerial supremacy, which he's renowned for. Very nice mark. Conlon, very busy, missed the body, but gave it to Borchardt, to Hamilton. Lamb, bad bounce. Smith, chips it to Lindner. Now, if Lindner can get it, Ross is in. Great play, Lindner. Ross should go. On the run, drop punt, and he has hammered it home. So it's Bob Beecroft and Mark Micken, and Micken's played very well in the ruck. He's got it again. He just can't seem to get his hand off the ball. Smith, handball forward. Hamilton, oh, beautiful movement and reflex. Conlon short to Luders. Tommy Book football. Richard Hamilton and everything at the moment. Now Dreyer. Oh, Blight uses his body hard against Dreyer. Now Watson. McKinnon. Dreyer picking himself up. Now McKinnon tried to run him down Anstey. Lindner. Well, oh, it's a good mark. It was a very good mark. Micken must be getting tired. He won it again easily to Hamilton. Grosser. Smith. Now Luda's on a lead. Not played. Lindner. Left foot by Lindner's a good one. I think it's a goal. Oh, it's a lovely kick. Winter, Micken, where the ball is, that's where Micken is. Watson, finesse is too much Larry Watson, I think, but he certainly keeps running. McKinnon, Conlon, half-footer, 
That was a wobbly kick. Lindner, magnificent mark, Conlon, goal. It's a bit of hard work by the little fellow. And Micken and Beecroft against one another. Micken, best big man on the ground, if not the best player on the field. Vorchardt with a quick kick away. Oh, Lindner took off early. Spectacular player. In the full forward. And Ludus. What a beautiful mark. Not paid. Yeah, that I took my eye off at the wrong moment. I looked at the monitor here. But Mike Smith's got it in his hand. And over the top of the goalpost and through for full points to West Adelaide. In the centre with Clift and Micken. Micken just takes them all on at the moment. Oh, Borchardt off the ground. Could have been in danger. Hamilton. G. Micken again, like a rover. And puts it down Winter's throat. Winter goes to Luders. Mark Micken's had 12 kicks to go along with about 25 knockouts, Bruce. He's kicked 318 goals in 91 games for West Adelaide. That's uh, getting up towards four goals a game. That's a great average. And that's another one. That's six to Luders. Bolton and Bennett. Bennett did that beautifully and gives it across again to Roger Winter. In the full forward. And quickly running out, Roger Luders. And so Mark Mickey's going to give it a bit of a charge too. He reckons he fancies himself a bit. He's put it right into the goal square. And Luders has gone into orbit. Last seen up at the looking at the eclipse of the sun. What a mark, Robert. That's a marvellous <laughs> mark. He just <laughs> hung up there. Now he's going to kick it on his left foot and through it goes. Seven goals to Luders. Bennett fell over, just got it to Gross. They had enough momentum to get to him. Gross's handball, very good to Beach, to Borchard. Borchard's been quiet today. He's done enough, I suppose. Hasn't had to do a lot. Micken, what a game. Lindner, got some pace. Charges into the pocket. Conlon over the back. Missed it. Smith. Dreyer provides a backup. Mr. They must be pleased with Dreyer. First year play for them. Lindner. Bennett over the top. Now McSporrin. Little left foot around his body. Oh, Borchardt takes a great mark. Lindner takes off. Makarath over the top. Lennon caught. Murat in the play immediately. Gives it to Grosser. One bounce, Grosser. Now Luders on a lead. It's a magnificent kick, Robert. That is a beautiful kick. True general he's been. He's generalised, generaled everything. He's been in charge all day. Roger Winter can't take the mark. Conlon to Luders. Luders quickly. Good balance. The goal umpire refuses to mark the ball. Could have cut the arms, Bruce, and dropped it on the bread basket. Tahini's been very loose, but I think Tahini's absolutely exhausted. They've just chased. The teamwork of West Adelaide has been so good that individual efforts are not what's required to combat it. There's an example of it as Winter whips it across to Conlon. Simpson's after him, but Conlon just keeps going. He kicks the goal. A little Bernie Conlon kicks his second. Randall Bennett's been a very steady player. Larry Watson loves to run with the ball from half-back. Mark Micken, not easy picking best men on the ground. There have been so many good ones, but Micken really has been outstanding today. Couldn't ask for a better game from a big fellow. Borchardt, all too easy at the moment. That's very loose. Now, Borchardt will probably look for looters. Gee, Robert, that's incredible. Michael Fuller oh, decided he wouldn't go with him at all. Caught him at the psychological moment. Back towards Hamilton, gets it out wider. Larry Watson, long handball. Conlon, centre line. Summerton pushes out the pass on the lead. Luders can't bring it down. Smith, 30 metres out, hooks around the corner. Could grab a one through. West Adelaide are off. Got there first. Smith, who's been doing a lot of hard work in the forward lines, put goal number one on the board. Former Port Adelaide champ and West Adelaide coach, for that matter, Foster Williams. Lindner! Oh, what a mark! Borchard, oh, that's not the best passage of play you've ever seen. Ebert back with him, sock it off the ground. Harvey and Luders, first to recover there will be Morris. Luders gets the handball out, in goes Grosser, open goal! Brilliant passage of play, West Adelaide. Started by Lindner, and do you think he ever got up high? Took off like a rocket. 
Screws a nice-looking kick in towards Evans. He can't get into the game, gets his hands. Williams in front. Fine mark. Did it well, body for body. Well, he's a good player, Williams. Not a good kick. Larry Watson, half-forward line, puts it in the air, looking for Luders. Morris in front. Harvey there with him. Luders! Oh, what a mark! What a brilliant mark over the top. Didn't get it at the one grab. In fact, I wouldn't be at all surprised if a Port Adelaide body helped him at the second grab. Rosser again. Umpire letting it go. Pushed in the back on this occasion. Watson gets it out. Summerton, point blank range. Puts it in the air. Goal to West Adelaide. Just about gave a free kick away then to Mark Micken. Micken gets the ball out. Smith. Filky, here's a chance. An open goal. Filky lines it up. He's got it. Well, the crowd are pretty happy about that. West Adelaide have hit the front. He goes wide. Filky wants it. Oh, Linda comes in. Great mark. Well, Filky did the right thing. He certainly did do the right thing. He went down. He saw Linda coming in. Evert couldn't. Linda can. Gets it out. Murat gives it to Larry Watson. Heads for the open goal. Chips it. Gives it a chance. Goal. Beautifully run, West Adelaide. Over the top. Eckerman. We could have used Giles. Clifford comes in late. Do a fine mark in front of the pack. Borchard, he got it out to Peter Winter. Spalling away was Eckham. Back to Conlon. A chance for Morris. An open goal if he can kick straight. Linda just picked it up, casual as you like. Booted it through. Second goal, Linda. Kick number 19 to that player. Oh, Linda up high. What a great mark. Looking for a running player. Buret is clear now. Centre half forward. Back now to Burgess. Going to get clear. Kicks in long. Going to be touch and go. Going to be a goal. West Adelaide have hit the front. And the stand has gone mad. The roof has gone off. Burgess' is second goal from the half-back front. And unbelievably, the Bloods are a point in front. I think... I think Neil Curley's in a state of shock. You can't believe it. West Adelaide didn't look a chance in this quarter. Burgess got his second. I don't think he thinks the forwards can do the work. Drea. It's been a winner at centre-half back for a number of weeks. And he kicks the ball long either with his right or his left. And Linda's taken a spectacular mark. What a start, Robert. Just handballed forward by Antrobus, but intercepted by Candelaftis. He can't get away, though. Beautifully done to Hamilton. Hamilton across to Peter Winter. Winter over the centre wing area. Conlon. Borchardt. Direct run at the goal. A beautiful kick. And West Adelaide in full flight to Roger Luders at full four in the back pocket. Very strong attacking player, Clisby. He kicks a good one to centre wing. Well before acceptance, we saw Linda go up and he stayed up there for some time. Williams came to the front. Cantalaftis. Advantage free play there. Goes into the centre and Roger Winter goes over the top and gives it to Jeff Morris and West Adelaide are in the van. Which van? I don't know which van they're in, but he's gone straight down the centre one. He's on a direct route to goal. Straight to Roger Luders again. North Adelaide playing fairly conventionally today in the old style. Two Ruckman resting up forward. Grosser kicks it. Borchart, Linda. He's gone to the centre. He'll have a go at this too. He's a pretty good kick. Luders led and he's lobbed it in the square. Perfect bit of play then by West Adelaide, straight out of the centre. Parson spoils it away, Conlon getting hold of the ball, beautiful movement. Ducks underneath and comes out the other side with sheer balance. And straightens the body. Beautiful power, wonderful accuracy, second goal to the little fellow. A beautiful play. Then it almost looks like he had two hands at his back. Kant left us, gives it to Winter. Dreyer. Dreyer to the centre, to Hamilton. Hamilton quickly to the wing. Had Watson running for him. Linda's out there as well. Grosser. Bennett. Micken gets a good bounce. Then goes directly to the pocket. Luders. Oh, that's a good mark. Gee, Micken did that well too, Robert. He was positive in his movement. Winter from half back to half forward. Linda's up there. How he does it, nobody knows. But he certainly gets up there. Fantastic mark. Umpire put the whistle to mouth then, Brucey open hand and handball that. Bennett, that's Randall, to Watson, to Winter. 
Stanbridge, I think, is going to have to pay for this. Borchardt. Grosser. Here's a goal. Grosser on the run, doesn't miss. North of Mr. Cappell. Williams to himself. Then a bounce. Then another. And then floats one. And he'll hope for Morris, because if he doesn't, it might go back over his head. Grosser ducks. Morris with a left footer. Well done. And Smith has got it. Luda's on the lead. Lace out. Mason not quiet. He had a big second term. It's a dangerous kick that Campbell did because now West Adelaide are in. Conlon's handball to Filky first class. And Luda's on the lead. Takes it on the half volley. Gives it to Smith. Now he should go. He has Drea to bring it back in. Smith giving him a lead from half forward. And he's going to get to Smith. And he's marked it. Fantastic. He led from centre half forward. Winter in the front. And did it very, very well to his brother. And then around his body to Bennett. Summerton. Morris or Borchard. Well done, Borchard. Watson. Now, can he do it again? He has. Well done. This is champagne football by West. A very good decision by the umpires, of course. Riley to play on. Micken. Grosser. And Burgess running on through centre wing. Bennett dropping down to receive. Cross to Roger Winter. Humble slightly. It'd be better if he'd have taken it cleanly, but the kick is a giant one. Well judged, Mark two by Roger Luders. Drear. Short into the centre to Watson. Of course, Riley's injured out here, and Watson's getting some touches in the centre. Borchardt. Luders. Arnold did well, but so did Luders, and Smith's got a gimme goal. And he's kicked it. Well done. Walk up next to the player, put in his ear and blow it. So Micken with a long screw punt. That might be home, Robert. It is. Oh, well done by the big fellow. Got some skills, Mark Micken. And Smith with Borchard. Borchard almost. Still Borchard. Now Bennett. That's a good kick. He's got it. What a goal. Parsons against Micken. Grosser. Had an efficient game to a space. Hamilton, well done. Back on the ground. Luders. Conlon. Goal. Good football. Conlon's got four. It's Micken. Ball just dropping forward. Borchardt. Good take. Didn't do much wrong with his leg then as he hammers it into half forward. Conlon. Smooth mover. Oh, well done. He read that perfectly, Bruce. Luders leading out. And then he just snapped it towards the square with perfect timing off the left foot. Nice movement by Antrobus, but Burgess is too quick. Well done, Tony Burgess. Runs him out of bounds with the ball. Umpire doesn't want to penalise the side. I think he was, unfortunately, because Ellis ran himself into trouble. He just hasn't done it well today, Ellis. Now Grosser. Oh, that's a great kick, Robert. Grosser and Conlon on the run up. Terrific kicks. Drea Short. Yes, that's disappointing. McAdams a skillful player, but when you're dodging shadows and someone's in the goal square on their own and you're trying to kick one around your left shoulder, it's not too easy. Watson on his own to Burgess. Burgess has done pretty well. He's gained some confidence as he's come on, which is I'm sure what Neil Curley would be happy with. He will be an important player. Lindner, good mark. He and Hay have had a good duel. Now Hamilton. Luders. Gross has done this well if it comes to him. Now Luders. Snap goal. Well done. Nine goals to Luders. Oh, Clisby almost. Conlon. He hasn't missed. Have a look at this. He's done it again. Conlon's kicked six without a miss. Well, no, 15 metres, should I say. Set a half forward. Off hands. Larry Watson's up there again, getting into the half forward line and certainly can evade well. Richard Hamilton oh, puts his foot into it. That's an idea of Richard Hamilton's class, Bruce. He's a very, very good player. Burgess. Lindner and Fry. Well, Lindner played in front, did it well, got the free kick and the mark. Through the centre of the ground he comes. Summerton. He's got Filky wider. Smith. Filky should get it. He does now. Has to get the quick kick away, but he did it beautifully. Oh, what a great running goal, Filky. Not wrapped about that one. Morris on the lead. Wide to that player in front. Radbone played it well. Conlon a chance. Lines up the goals. He's got it. Good work. Conlon, that's his first. Candle after Larry Watson. Short to Borchardt. 
West Adelaide get a bit of run as well. Roger Winter. Linder's on his own at ten and a half forward. Winter goes long. Luders in front. Couldn't take the mark. He's got the ball now, though. He gets it out to Smith. Smith wheels onto the left boot, hooks it around. I think he's got it. Rosser. Forward towards the half back line. Hollis. Beautifully tackled. What a great tackle. Brantley Filky, that's the second one this quarter. Winter's going in high. Luders again from behind. Pushed away. Morris. I think he's grabbed one through. Well, that's awfully close. It's a goal. Incredible goal by Jeffrey Morris. Winter. Randall Bennett. High again. Not a good kick. Luders in front. Great grab. Good mark. Finally gets Watson in to help. Linda did that beautifully. Gets it out towards Muret. Muret wants a handball. Didn't know where one was. Finally gets it further out. Winter goes in long. Luders getting back. Brendan Howard can't quite get there. Off the fingers. Morris. Third goal. Beautifully read. Playing off is Grosser for West Adelaide. Or oh, fine mark low to the ground. Peter Muret. Hamilton. Or oh, the handball missed who it was intended for. Grosser through the centre. Weaves a, a merry dance through the middle. Linda on the lead. He's got it. Well, well played, Grosser. Knew exactly what he wanted to do. Finally, Bennett. Micken. The handball finds Grosser. Grosser wants Linda again. Linda's got a chance. He's out in front of Downs. He's got it. Oh, good mark. What a difference, in when a, a strong body's at full forward. A lot of people on this stand agree with me. Filky to Muret. Slips it back. Bennett on the left leg. Goes in long. Linda out in front again. Solid mark. Oh, when he gets in front, there's nothing that Downs can do. Linda knew it was, knew it, it was on, and uh, he read it well. Downs has kicked off beautifully today. Filky was up. Grosser took it off hands. Just breaks the... Away from the tackle of Darrington. It's a fine kick forward. Oh, it's hit the post, I think. You know, it's through. Oh, great goal, Grosser. One thing about Bob Schofield today, he's given decisions very quickly. Smith wants Linda. Linda on the lead. It's a high ball. Back he goes. Oh, beautifully red, Linda. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, oh. No, he has it. The umpire's paid it. What a miraculous recovery from Linda there to read that one in. That was special stuff. Centre wing, Conlon uses his pace, caught on the left leg, wobbles one high towards the half forward line, coming to meet it, grabbing it well, however, was Borchard out in front of Muret. West Adelaide a chance now, Muret to Filky, heads for goal, 30 metres out, gives it a chance and it's home. Goal number two, Rantley Filky. Peter Winter kicks it into the centre of the ground. Well, fries up high, couldn't take the mark, Conlon's got the run of it. On a lead is Borchardt, he should get it. Borchardt's likely to pass short. Linda wants it. Straight to that player, beautifully done. From set shots. He doesn't miss that one. That's his 11th kick. Bruce Linda has now got four goals. Great performance. He's about 50 metres out. It's a nice looking kick away. It's going to be marginally short. Linda! Seemed to be once more underneath the ball. And he's got a chance from point blank range and could not miss from here. Goal number five for the quarter. Gee, they're desperate in defence, Sturt. They're very tired, though, off the ground. Conlon, Grosser, he lines them up. The ball's coming back. Oh, he's put it through. Two goals, Grosser. Sturt now in big trouble. Borcha, he'll go wide to give Smith a chance. Smith from behind, that's it's not a bad grab. If he's No, he's not paid. Play on, calls the umpire. Muret with a bit of magic. On to Conlon. Conlon lies him up. Through it goes. Oh, that's going to make it hard now. Two to Conlon. Borchard strength. Motley can't get there. Here's a chance now. Mickenor got the kick away out in front of Morris. Coming to meet it as well as Linda. Morris on the left leg. 30 metres out steady. Gives it a chance. I think that one's home as well. Jeffrey Morris, and it looks at this point, though the Bloods would come out on top at the end of the game with pole position on the Premiership table.
taps it out towards Conlon. Conlon takes the ball for West Adelaide to Drea. Drea up, uh, up to Micken. Micken to Hamilton. Hamilton ignores Borchardt, and wisely so. And he kicks to half forward, and Linda decides to have it with one hand ahead of Graham Corns. To Grosser. Grosser just props. He might have to go back to Linda, no to Watson. And Watson off one leg towards full forward. Luders and Brooksby. Palmer. Straight to Grosser, and straight through for a goal. Hawkins and Micken. Hawkins runs around the front. Butler. Micken. Grosser. Tries a back screwy, and it worked. Conlon's got it. Got some good understanding between the two of them. Linda Marks. <laughs> Des Foster. Des Foster has put Linda down with as good a little hip and shoulder as you'd wish to see. Big Des Foster and little Bruce Linda. That's incredible, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Hately to the space at the wing. Summit has read it well too as he bolts at the ball, takes it, moves through to give it to Murat. Micken, he's caught by Salento. Luders in front, chance for West Adelaide, and it's a goal. Goes towards Luders on the lead. Morris is underneath it. Philip Brooksby, Luders taps it back, gives Morris the chance, and Morris has goal. Well done, Luders. Morris has got his first. Borchardt gets the deflected kick. Linda early from the front spot, takes the mark. Wald, nice evasion. Two dummies to the goal square. Oh, Larry Watson, mark of the day. Now Drea. She West got out of that all right. Summerton. Muret just props on it. Borchard in the centre. And he's going to attack the goal front. And Luders has got it. It's his favourite kick. There's Bennett's about to come back on for South. Now he kicks to the goal front. Lamb's got it. Very talented young player, Clayton Lamb. Neil Curley playing him today. They may have missed Mike Smith up in that forward line. But Clayton Lamb's taken an important mark. Bernie Conlon's going to come off. Leon Grosser on. Neil Curley's going to run his Rovers from the bench. This quarter, by the looks of things, gives Clayton Lamb the opportunity to do what he did then. Kick a goal. It has built up as the day's gone on. Micken. Winter on the up. Well done to Linda. Linda charges to Luders. Luders with it now to Craig Williams. Wolves got it. Luders, long and strong. Is it home? It is. What a goal! Magnificent kick, Luders, and that's his fifth. Brooksby, he really's been dying to get onto the ball. Picks it up and gives it across to Honor. He's caught by Conlon, a little fella working hard. A little bit of a rest might have done in the world of good. Hately with an opportunity, doesn't get the ball to bounce again. Nice pace by Filkey. Straight at the goal, that's balance. Superb. Burgess balls it away. Williams, he loves it on the ball. Holds it in one hand, he's a big man. It's like a tennis ball. And the kick, terrific. Roger Luders on the receiving end. 11 kicks. Well, this is it coming up, number 11. 10 so far. 11. I think as though he mistimed that one a little bit, but he didn't. Just quietly controlled it. So he kicks his sixth of the quarter, eighth for the match. He has to put his glasses on back to front, Bruce. Filky to Burgess. Burgess to centre half forward. Linda and Tree. Oh, that's a splendid mark, not paid. Now Grosser. Luders will get it. He's in a bit of form, Robert, isn't he? Bodied out very well then, Bruce. Um, feel that it's like up here. Micka to half forward. Pride took off early. Lindner again. Well done, Drea. Robertson just waited for that ball. He has lazy periods in his game. Now Conlon. What a kick, Robert. It was a fantastic kick, Bruce. He really kept that ball low. He ran fast and then hit the ball with tremendous power. Very high. Luders in front. Spoiled away. Larry Watson coming on as Mark Drea comes off. They might be looking for a bit of attack from half-back, Bruce. I don't think Drea's fit, Robert. Now Morris. 
Morris on the run, that's a good kick, that's a goal. Magnificently done. Well done, Jeff Morris. Hearn put Platten under pressure. Hip and shoulder by Linda. Gonna be a ball up. This is a good bump by Bruce Linda. Sun shining for the first time. Hamilton gives him a lead. He goes longer. Murat's gonna get into the play. No, that's Linda. Only Linda can leap like that. Still Linda. Still Linda. Trig. Linda still got it. Isn't it great with the umpire lets it go like this, Bruce, and they're all fighting. Hamilton to Roger Winter, and Roger Winter kicks the goal. Spoiled away by Burgess. Then he recovers first, takes possession. Loves to run away with the ball. Rebounding kick to the centre. Grantley Filky. Brosser. Borcha. Brosser. To the square, bit of sun trouble. Through the jumps early. Roger Winter. Very, very awkward ball. Towards the half back line. Roger Winter working hard. Daryl Hart's man. Daryl Hart caught napping then. He shouldn't have been. He had plenty of time. Long kick into the pocket. Two Central's players collide. Lucasy coming in. Nearly runs into the umpire. Grosser can get hold of it. Conlon. Conlon with a left foot to the goal square. Now Linda's going to come from the back. Not quite this time. Treat court. Grosser. Let's kick the goal. Luders coming across. Oh, took it beautifully. Oh, well done, Luders. Conlon goal. Oh, gee, did that well, Luders. High drop punt. Luders and Bubna. Oh, well done, Luders. Just getting in front of him, stopping him getting his run. To the centre, Bennett, a spectacular mark. He hurt himself, I think, Bruce. Might have winded himself. Robertson might be in a bit of pain too, Robin. Little fellow's going to be all right. Gee, he's a good player, Robert. That was a fantastic mark. He's had 14 kicks today and 13 handballs. Wonderful little player. Poor old Jeff Robertson doesn't look to be all that well at the moment. Bennett towards Linda. Linda just propped on Trigg. Now Winter. Getting back there, Chloe Hesse. Grosser. Oh, well done. Morris. He's kicked it. Goal. Watson to half full. Or oh, Trigg almost. Linda. Got so much power, Linda. Still Linda. Roger Winter's kicked four. I think he's kicked five. He has. West Adelaide now building on percentage. After they looked to be in big trouble at half-time. Grosser to the goal square. Luders versus Bubner. Now Morris. Hearn still in play. Borchard. Conlon. Goal. Craig Williams. Across to Greg Summerton. Had a wonderful game. Lindner. Mickham with a little one. Smith. Now Bennett. Now Conlon. Now he doesn't miss these. Four to Bernie Conlon. For Platten, he's summoned in again. Great little half-back flanker. Filky. Candleaftis. Watson on the up. Nice handball. Candleaftis again to half forward. Trig in front. Linda from behind. Takes it off Trigg's fingertips. A little bit slow then. Hamilton. Oh, he runs on the line, Bruce. Does that for a kick. Straight at him. Richard Hamilton having one of his few kicks for the day, but he's had plenty of handballs. Big Dirk Dijon, the king. Carey, Williams. Carey's tap away. Look for Marshall. Hamilton through. Half forward line. Smith picks it up. West Adelaide into attack. Settling himself, Morris behind, off the fingers. Here's a chance, McKinnon gives a chance down to Bernie Conlon. Conlon head on to goal, puts it in the air, going to be close. Goal. Quickly it's Borchard, Luders, Grosser, long hand ball over. Should be a goal, Smith this way, that away, doesn't know where to go. Hooks, I think it's a goal, but gee, do you think he ever made hard work of that? Filky. Smith under it. 
Walsh in front, picking up Borchardt. Luders on a lead behind his Grosser. A chance, Luders off the ground. He'll play it on. Bit of danger there. Salisbury is run down and it's holding the ball. West Adelaide played it on. Will it come back? No, they're letting the score go. Bennett picked it up from a free kick that was given to Conlon. Lined them up and put it through for West Adelaide's fifth. Burnell not playing well. De Jong easily. Bennett. Luders. He's got it. Oh, how quick can you do it? De Jong, Bennett, Luders. Can Luders kick a goal? Well, that's a bit straighter. Two goals, Luders. So does McKinnon. He gets dragged off the ball. Gee, they're in slow motion at the moment, the players. Morris, off the mark. The ball floated. Hewitt couldn't quite handle it. Morris took a fine mark over the top of him. And getting across is Johnny Fantatop, alias Cataleftus. Hamilton, Williams. It's hard to kick the ball long. Tackle was high. Carey against Williams. West Adelaide Rutland's kick to Hamilton. The handball. Randall Bennett. Puts it out towards the half-forward line. Borchardt using his body well. Half-forward line on the lead now is Luders. Won't quite get there. Yes, he will. Oh, gee, he made some metres. Desi Foster was uh, pretty close to that incident. Kick number eight from Bennett. Farquhar in front of Luders. Oh, Luders. Here's the body and took the mark. Farquhar not happy, but uh, Luders is going to be paid. And he won't miss from there. Gee, that's a danger kick. McKinnon and Simons. McKinnon played it well. That's why it's dangerous. Up goes Luders. Couldn't take the mark. But here goes Holland running into the from goal. His second. In West Adelaide have had a good last five minutes. McKinnon. Borchard. West Adelaide set it up again. Filky clear. Half forward line. That's the way the ball will go out further is Larry Watson. Smith it is. Into the open goal. Shouldn't miss. Point blank range. Oh, an awkward looking kick, a roll over punt kick. It's going to roll over, all right. Nobody touched it. A goal. Bennett. Smith setting up the handball again. Here they go. Morris on the lead is Luders going towards that player. This is perfectly put. Oh, what a beautiful pass, Jeffrey Morris. The ball furthered by Borchard to the half forward line. Smith killing him up there. Drives long. Grosser getting back on it. Good mark. Take a bit of courage to hold your ground while the galloping herd are coming down at you, but Grosser did it well. A check side. It will be difficult to get this through. Tight angle. Three goals, Grosser. Fine kick for goal. The big punch away from Dreer. He's controlled centre-half back, Dreer. Grosser tears into the forward line. Up goes Williams. Good grab. Roy met that. Vice-like grip. Kick number 11, and he has played well. Craig Williams. Split the centre with that one. Dijon, another thump away. This time it went 30 metres. Straight over now to Grosser. No, Morris it is. Morris on the left leg. Luders on the lead again. Here's his job. It's going to be a good kick to get it from here. He's about 45, out, uh, 45 metres out. Maybe not quite that far, but he's got to plough through some pretty heavy part of the ground. And the breeze is almost at his back. Is this number 10 on the way? Coming back, coming back. What a comeback and up. He's got it. 10 goals, Roger Luders. Fine effort. That makes it 90 for the season. But to be fair, the players in front of him have looked for him superbly. And some of the passes that have hit him have been positively brilliant. Even the King's trying hard not to smile. Murat's on the lead. Shorter is Burgess. Now Murat. Murat's got a chance for a goal, but he'll hook it back towards Luders. He's got it again. Oh, gee, the passing is spot on to Luders. He'd be pretty happy about it. Fortunately, he hasn't let his other players down because he's kicked pretty straight. 10-3, in fact. Roger Luders. He's now into the nervous 90s. 91 for the year. 
and uh, a lot of players have had their socks down from a very early stage. Kernahan, Burgess, Hamilton, Cantalactus, Murat. Oh, what fantastic football. Over it goes to Conlon. Can this be a goal? No good old player has touched it. Brilliant football, three to Conlon. Rosser. Now Hamilton. High ball. Luders couldn't quite make a Smith can. Goal! Well done. And Mike Smith then picking up that ball well, moving into the goal square, and then just controlling his leg to get the ball on the half volley. Could have easily got a bad bounce. Richard Hamilton doing a lot of hard work from the centre of the ground, enabling that ball to get in there. Now it's Teal up from full forward with Peter Winter. He's caught. He's holding the ball. Very good tackle. From the back of it, taking a very, very well judged mark out there, Robin McKinnon. Punches at Negrossa. It was a good mark. And he's hurting himself. Ace coming in late. Eyes on the ball. It's just bad luck. Borchard tapped it on cleverly to Filke. He's about to have his first kick. Luders. Oh, good grab. Since Roger Luders missed that goal when he hit the post, Bruce, he's been very, very competitive up in that forward line. It's a long kick. It's floating in towards the goal and straight through the centre. McKinnon to full forward. Hines underneath it. Williams from the back. Play on. Goal to Linda. He's got it. And the Bloods are in front. Still Williams. McKinnon. Hamilton. He's having a magnificent duel with Aish. Bennett. To Murat. To Linda. Now he should kick the goal. Didn't steady but has. Mercurial Bruce Linda's put them in front. Good a job as Mark Williams could, uh, Mark Micken could have, I think, Bruce. Mark Dreyer. Dreyer, I'm sorry. I'll be in trouble if I call him Dreyer. Lindner. Flying, unbalancing Noble. Found himself on the interchange bench during this term. 50 metres out. Low, strong, straight. Gallagher runs on. They're getting themselves in a bit of trouble. They're trying to make plays on. Colin recovers. He's a good kick. Let's see if he can spare it. Treated little Bernie Conlon from 10 kicks, and this is a very big lead now. Conlon's fired right up. Filky. Strong to half forward. It's a good placement too to Bruce Linder. He's over, he's up. What great recovery, that is power. He's full of confidence now, and the president kicks for goal, and it's home. But it's been Hamilton's day in the centre. They've both played very well. De Jong. Oh, that skill. It's not bad for a fellow who hasn't played most of the year, Bruce. To centre half forward. Wants two. Dreer and McKinnon. McKinnon's mark all the way. But Burgess, who's been just so good, as the change is about to come up with Williams on and De Jong off. And Wester, they go wide to Grosser. Over the top. Watson. Dreer. Will he use Bennett? Now he will. Wide to Linda. Oh, Williams has just come on and said it's mine. Spoiled away to, to Hamilton. It's a better handball. They're the man that needs, they want to get it. That's a good handball by Murat to Borchart. Borchart to Luders. That's a 15 metre penalty. It's careless Jim Teal. Could have pulled off. Linda and Luders both being stopped in their tracks. Now Luders on a lead. He's got him. He can fly from the front, can't he, Bruce? That kick up in the air, it was well-placed kick. So Roger Luders in the impossible pocket. On 98 with four today. Going to improve his angle, Robert. It's a good kick. Oh, he's got it. 99. Across the face of goal. Filky plays on. Murat. So it'll be Button again with De Jong. De Jong won it easily. McKinnon. Luders leads. Oh, he's going to pay it. Oh, he marked it. No doubt. Stopped it dead. Get out of his hands after he took it. Jim Till, not quite able to get there. He stopped it. Stopped it. Then it was hit out. 
similar to the one Neil Hines stopped earlier today when Craig Williams hit it out of his hand. Correct. So 99 goals to Luders. Tucked away in the pocket. Jim Michael Annie kicked one from a little further out than this, same angle. Let's ride it with him. 30 metres. That is home. And so Roger Luders writes his name into the record books. A great personal goal. And what a way to do it. Roger Luders, 100 goal. First West Adelaide player ever to achieve the century. They've gone through horror patches, but in September they've been so good in recent years. Now Filky, Jenkins will try and cut it off. See, that's Linda's strength. He didn't even upset Linda then. Bennett to McKinnon. Oh, it's long and strong. It's home. Well, if you're going to go on with the game, there's no better time to do it than in the last quarter of the second semi-final. With a week's rest and the opportunity to come up for a grand final full of confidence. So West Adelaide losing Greg Summerton. And this is a bad loss if he's very badly injured. I hope he hasn't pulled a muscle for West Adelaide's sake. Craig Williams on. Plenty of time. It's always a good kick. Andrew Aish, but Muret took it to Watson. One bounce. Two. Three. He's got De Jong in the square and he left it behind. He's still there, the big fella. He only wants a high kick. He's gone for looters. He's run past him. Borchardt's up there. He's run all the way down the middle of the ground. Dummies the handball. Can the skipper kick a goal? He can kick a goal. It's been a long time since 1961 when West Adelaide beat Nord on a very hot day at the Adelaide Oval to win their grand final. Oh, but this team spirit in 1983 is fantastic at the moment. before Borchardt gets there. And we see Lindner and Burgess, who looks fit, and Jeffrey Morris, who for so long has wanted to play in a grand final. Well, Bruce, that banner may be break because of the power coming towards it. It's West Adelaide power. They're the red-hot favourites this afternoon to take this game. Maybe that power is exuding from them as they came out in this fairly strong, gusty breeze, and they maybe broke the banner just with the force of them coming out onto the ground. Ian Borchardt, strong, direct. Who will ever forget the number of times he runs out of the centre of the ground and kicks that short 40-metre pass, almost head high. And Roger Luders the full forward many, many times on the receiving end of that. And, of course, at centre-half forward for West Adelaide, number 10 in their side is Bruce Linder. Bruce Linder, a very um, strong fellow. He's got great agility. Some of his movement in the second semi-final, one will always remember those people who saw it when he spun out of a pack, turned around and kicked a magnificent goal. And he is a very, very unpredictable player. He can have great periods when he plays what you would call second-rate football. But then he goes from that to some of the most superb ball play you could wish to see from anybody. An enormous roar. And it's De Jong and Spiel. And De Jong's going to get a free kick to start the game. Running opposed to one another. Punches it into the breeze. To Peter Winter, to Ian Borchard, nowhere to go. Watson ran for him, got a bounce. Candelaftis runs for him, and then looks for Linda. And Linda's got it. This is his first touch. Luders on a lead. Ford, Luders, Morris and Hutton. Still Morris, tucked away in the pocket. Williams with no Smith. Well played, Jeffrey Morris. A beautiful bit of play on that half-back line, then Bruce with that handball out of defence by West Adelaide. And goals. De Jong knocking it forward. Smith 
Hamilton, West Adelaide now in full cry from the centre. You picked it a moment ago, Bruce. Ford can't take the mark. Murat playing it with skill. Kicks to the goal square. Beautiful control. So everything's running for them now. Some lovely control by Peter Murat. Or oh, they can taste that premiership already. There's a long way to go. But Hamilton's playing a big game in the centre. And Peter Murat, who says that he won't play for West Adelaide next year, he'll go back to Broken Hill, but oh, he's having a taste of big-time football here today, which he really hasn't in the past, and it's going to be hard for him to go back now. Beautiful kick. Spoiled away. Borchardt again. He's played a great game already this afternoon. Murat. Borchardt runs on. Murat dummies to him. Then goes to Borchardt. Borchardt with an opportunity to score. Great game, he's playing and now he's converted. Hollis from the back. Hamilton did that well. He got in the road of Whittlesey. And then Bennett gave it to Summit and to Filky and he can go all the way here. No, he goes to Luders. Absolutely no hope then, Bruce. That Randall Bennett's playing the game of his life. He and Ian Borchardt through the centre line. Randall Bennett has picked up so many kicks. Smith, Morris. Goes long and strong, Luders and Sims. It's still going. Ross is going to kick a goal. He has. The little fellow has kicked three. Three are now forward of centre. In towards Conlon and Heinrich. Heinrich fisted forward. Ross is there. Murat. Free kick to Murat. He plays on to Conlon. Conlon with the easiest of goals. Spoiled by Drea. Grosser. Summerton, off one leg. McKinnon, oh, did it magnificently. Then punches it to Conlon, to Murat. One bounce. Back screwy, goal. Peter Murat, what a game you're playing. And Murat's kicked three. So, Philip Heinrich got caught up the ground. Mike Smith, blood, blood running from his face. Heinrich caught up the ground then. Conlon on his own, got it on to Murat, and Murat's back screwy was a superb one as he banana it back through the goals, settled it onto the boot, curved it in. Jeff Morris to full forward. Luders with the run, Pate with the hands, comes off hands. West Adelaide at home, I feel. To Burgess, little left footer, Filky, Grosser. Takes Brown on, then bounces. Hamilton to Murat. I was going to say Murat because he was the one that made the ground at centre half four, but now Linda will get it. Well done, Larry Watson. We're still running. Sturt attacking wide to the corner rather than going to the goal square, getting out in the corners of the ground. So Frank Spill coming up with Craig Williams to compete for the throw in. Siren is imminent. Grosser to McKinnon. He's a lovely mover, Robin McKinnon. Brushes Zubernick aside and kicks to centre half forward. Reed from behind and Murat. They've been in front up forward all day. Murat, good skills. Linden to the square. He's really piled driven that one. Pop that you You don't reckon we can win it? Try that for size. 21 goals, 16 to 16 goals, 12, and West Adelaide have won it. What a moment for Neil Curley. Sacked in 1962 after taking them top in 61 and West 21-16 to 16-12. He went to South Adelaide in 64 and took them from bottom to top, then to Glenelg, and now the West Adelaide boys have won him his fourth grand final. He must be so very, very proud of them. Top all year, 18 wins in the minor round. Minor premiers for the first time in many, many years, and home today. And so Craig Williams in his All-Australian year, Robert, and it really has been a wonderful season for West Adelaide. Certainly has, and Barry Downs, the manager, I see Peter Murat going across to speak with him on the boundary line. Barry Downs, of course, has been a very amiable person, a lovely fellow, but Neil Curley, 
to all the players. There's no doubt about it. West Adelaide have played very, very well. Sturt today put up a very gallant effort for the second quarter, second to none, in which West Adelaide scored 10 goals three. A grand final record saw them steer themselves to a well-deserved victory after a very, very good season. So it's an emotional moment for the man and his players, the man who they called the king of South Australian football in the 60s, who many thought was the greatest captain coach we've seen and whose coaching career was at the crossroads when he went back to Richmond in 1981, but who has succeeded and has brought McKinnon and Drea and Conlon into the side from 1982. I think you'll all agree that uh, it's been a great game today, but West Adelaide have been the top side throughout the year and it's only fitting that they should be the Premiers. It, it is my very great pleasure to announce that the winner of the Jack Odie medal for the best man on the ground today was West Adelaide captain Ian Borchard. I would now like... I would now like Ian Borchard to come forward and be presented with the Thomas Seymour Hill Cup for the Premiership of 1983. Ian Borchard, will you come forward, please? Ian? Got it. Ian to respond, I would like to pay a tribute to the West Adelaide coach Neil Curley, their committee and all of the players associated with the club. Well done Neil. And now I would like to ask Ian Borchard to respond. Thank you Ian. Thanks Max. Since we worked hard for this I'll tell you, no one will believe how hard all our players have worked this year. We had quite a few boys that couldn't quite make it. They helped us get us there. We promised them we'd get it for them, and we've certainly done that. Bad luck to Sturt. They were, they were the team that you know, we had to beat. A lot of luck goes with these things, and I think we worked a little bit harder, perhaps, and the luck went our way. Thanks very much. Mr. Neil Curley. Thank you, Max, and uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to pay tremendous tribute to Sturt. They fought it out to the very, very last second, and even though we may have looked a fresh aside, they really gave their all today, and congratulations to them. <laughs> the West Adelaide players, I can only say how proud I am of them. They've been a great side all year to coach. They're a great mob of lads, and uh, gee, we've really had a fantastic day. Thank you all.
Let's go. 